Hello guys, welcome to Mac Battle 1.3.0 new update. There's a few changes, so I thought I'll make a few videos on showing different setups for weapon systems. Um, so the main things that they've changed is the lagging and also the accuracy of hitting for the kinetic weapons. Um, they have became more deadly and the small bots like the uh, Zephyr are pretty much uh, no good at the moment because their life or their health is quite low. Um, they get damaged quite easily, so we just park them in the hangar now. Um, so everybody's gone with bigger boats. So this one is just going to be about the uh, F300s with laser on the Atlas. And it's just a quick video um, to show you what kind of damage this does, if you want to go with that setup, which I like. And I will do another video on the uh, G5000s um, with, again, laser. And another one about Zerker. So that will be one at a time, I guess. And what also they brought in is they brought in that you can check your hangar through here. And also... Um, on the ranks there, you can you can do the same thing by pressing any player. So to have a look at what they have in the hangar, and you can do that to your friends as well. At the end of the game, you can just look at someone's hangar. The Polaris is still one of the meanest sports out there, so always have one. This one really good to take out these big boys. Get really close to them under 15 meters and you'll just chew through their life. Um, so what else they've changed? They also added um, on hosting, um, you can actually change the mode and the map that you would like with your friends. Um, there's also a couple of more changes which I will show you in game. Um, so this one is just going to be about the FT300. Um, so what they have done also on the top left corner is match me also with clans or squads. If you untick that, that's best for you because otherwise you will get, um, you will be playing against people, two, three people versus you and that's not good. And the top numbers as usual, 8.8.1-1, the last number shows you how many real players are in there. But you can check this once you started the game. Um, on the top right corner, you can press that. And I will to show you whoever has got a Wi-Fi sign next to them. That will mean they are a real player. So this is a beacon rush. I'm just going to show you what this does. The F300 loads very fast. So... It's uh, five seconds, I believe, and look at the damage. Two hit, and it's gone. So you still want to get uh, your beacons because that's your bonuses. And that gives you 10 platinum for most beacons. Now... As you can see, it's a perfect combo with these two because you're always shooting pretty much. Now, remember, top left corner, you have a, a few things that change, joystick type and also up and down. Please change that, enable it. Um, that's, as you can see, one shot, bang, gone. Um, I can pretty much play the whole game with one boat when I'm farming. I mean, you can let them take the beacon, which is a good idea, because you will get it back. So you want to have the... Mo I want to get out of here, basically. This weapon is really good at long range, even though it does the same damage from knee. So the idea is, during the game, when you get a chance, especially if you're farming, If 
if you follow me, you want to grab all the bacons. And shoot as you're coming down, not as you're going up, because there is no... He doesn't shoot very well as he's going up, but coming down is completely a different story. So as I say, just let them go. As soon as it goes neutral, you can still kill them. And grab that beacon from them. I mean, as you're seeing, I am doing beacons, and it is a fast board. I mean, it is at level nine. Um, so it is at a high level, and it moves quite fast. As you can see, the damage caused by it for farming or for even against other players, it does turn a bit slow, but there is an any small boats you can take out. Maybe Polaris you might struggle a bit with. So during the game, at any time, you can go and check how many kills you had and how many beacons. So I want one more just to be on the safe side uh, so that I get that max, max, so hopefully I'll beat this guy to it. Um, oh, well, I should get max, as you can see, 13 and four, one million damage. And look at my most max destroyed bonus, most captured bonus and finish bonus. So I've got 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 5, 25 if VIP comes up to 37, so it's a really good way to farm. Now in the results on the left corner, you can go into the person's hangar. If there was another player, you can do the same thing there, and it will show you their, um, their hangar. All right, guys, enjoy.